M0FXB, welcome to my channel. SVX Link. I've been speaking to Carl at DV Mega and he is going to produce this new product that you can see on the screen. The interesting thing about it is that you can use an ordinary Bofeng running analog to connect into Echo Link plus a lot more, and it's all made possible by SVX Link. If we look at the write up here, it says help a help system parrot play back everything that is received echo link connect to other echo link stations and i find that very interesting because if we can use the bofunk to connect into echo link and echo link as you know has thousands of connections that's fantastic dtmf repeater repeater receive dtmf signals or digits it says here tci voicemail send voicemail to other local users Propagation monitor, announce propagation warnings from dxmaps.com. Self-call, send selective calling sequences by entering DTMF. Under the title, The Project, it says SVX Link is a project that develops software targeting the ham radio community. It started out as an Echo Link application for Linux back in 2003, but now have evolved into something much more advanced. Now there's a lot to learn on this, but G4NAB has showed via the GitHub page and GitHub links that you can actually create a dashboard that you can see here on the right hand side. The whole project was created quite a while ago by SM0SVX and there is a GitHub page and if you are an advanced user, I'm sure all of this you will find that, you know, interesting and even I am just learning. The good thing is that Carl at DV Mega is planning on on making these items available to us, us hams. And there is some configuration. You know, everything will be done that can be done during the production. But then there's some final settings that would need to go in. Just reading further here. SVS, SVX link server. The SVS of course, a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Server is a general purpose voice services system, which when connected to a transceiver can act as both an advanced repeater system and can also operate on a simplex channel. One could call it a radio operating system since it sits between the hardware transceiver and the applications modules and handle basic system services as well as input output. So, you know, thank, thanks for watching my short video. I'll provide the links that you're seeing. Thank you to SM0SVX and G4NAB. And I'm sure there's many more links here that I'm finding as I look at these different sites. And these links will be in the description. I'm learning. Once I've got the hardware here, because Carl has promised that he'll get one to me, I can set it up. And if we can just get our Bofeng with this module talking on Echolink, that is enough for me straight away. If you look at the top of the board there, there is a small radial module. I think it's called, I think the model number is actually 818 and they're used in, in walkie talkies. And yes, it is a radio. You know, you are sending out real radio from your Bofeng or any other analog device to this device. And then the magic is all happening within the, the, the whether you use a Pi Zero or an Orange Pi, Pi Three, you know, the magic is gonna happen. That I know that there is a, a an image out there already for the orange pie, otherwise it can be compiled. But what I'll do is once I get this working, it, I will try and make a video that makes it as easy for you as possible to use. And you can grab your old bowfungs. And if you don't, if you haven't got a, a, a digital hotspot, this is another way of going into the digital digital system. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Looking forward to playing with this. Seven three, all the best.